Good evening guys, it's a rare occasion to see me without Millie uh, But what I'm going to do just now is I'm actually going to pick up my oldest brother He couldn't think of anything worse to do than to drive about in a car Doing one of these stupid apps uh, Called that app I've been using lately, that Randonautica uh, uh, Oh he slags hell at me for it um, But I've convinced him to come along <laughs> So I'll try and get him on video as much as I can Pop a wee video up and um, give him a big high five guys Tell him to uh, stop, stop um, trying to act so old and live a little, you know <laughs> to hate this. There may be some language used during this video which I wouldn't normally have on my page but I know what it's like. Well, what that was? Right. The whole Basically it's today with quantum physics and there's a computer locked away in a room somewhere in the University of Australia and they believe that if you think of an intent, intent then it'll manifest a location and you'll find what your intent is. Well, how does the, that know your intent? You f right, so basically you go into the app, right? Yeah. And press that, right, that's sending your location, right? It tells you not to trespass or anything like that, because a lot of times I've done it and it takes you to garden. Now, an anormal, an anomaly can be an attractor or a void. A void is normally something you find something creepy and a detractor or something you find something pleasant normally so so we'll change the options so it's a so haunted thing so well, if that's what you thing? want it to be i always think happiness right, i normally think happiness so what does that take you and then i suppose it's I suppose the reality the way i look at it is see to be honest anywhere you go if you think happiness and you get gain a location no uh, matter I mean, where so you'll think happiness because you <laughs> but, but you could enjoy you enjoy it anywhere I, anywhere I go I kind of end up enjoying it right so should taste it to a pub no it's a, well it could you never I know mean, right, it, it, so, happiness. but and if you think um, death or mystery or something like that so we'll think happiness um, happiness or so lucky 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll do a normally, right, because that could be anything, and we'll hit think lucky. So we'll use the Australian National University computer, and now you think of your attempt, so focus on lucky. So sing the Kylie Minogue song. No, I don't know that. Are like you there, remember? No. I should be so lucky. I'm not singing that for. Hey. I don't know the lyrics. I should be so, so lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so keep thinking lucky, lucky. Well, um, I'm, I'm thinking about my lottery numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put them on. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. No, I'm not putting your mouths on. Uh, this is something. This is lucky. And it is a 20 minute drive away. Well, that's alright. That's not too far. Head southwest, then turn don't left. don't know where it is, but let's Just see, actually. Let's have a look. 20 minutes. You're only going up to if I'm driven then. You're back online. You are on the fastest route. You five. should reach your oh, destination no. by 2115. It's after road, but let's just let's just, just drive. The road. Let's just drive and find it. It's up the road, you want to? Just the back way. How fuck can you be lucky? It's a fucking. Hey, I thought you were. I thought you were moving your motor, but it's as if you're fucking. I think so, 17 again, 16 route in the car stand, don't you? Do you know what it does? It gets you out the house, Take it gets you. I know. Uh... Right, so we're definitely here. So if you actually jumped there that fence, if on yeah, it. You'll get my day boots. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't have done it. No, but that fence, right? You're not, you're about, so you're not breaking, but you actually. It's not fine, you're not breaking. As long as you don't damage your fence, it's perfectly fine. As long as you don't, you're not going destructive. Mm -hmm. If you broke the fence, then it's a criminal act. But if you carefully go over the fence or use a gate, which you, they would prefer but you to do. But if you go into somebody's house that you're actually trespassing in the, the property, but... 
I know, but in the driveway. Have you driveway. Long so somebody can walk into your driveway? No, they can, but it'd be all damn rude of you to do that. Uh, right, so are you happy? No. Me either. So, I'll just say... Did that during the day? Right, let's try again. Did you send an intent? Right, hold on, right. This time we'll do a void. Paul, Paul Jr. Wait, a void. Think creepy. 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 How do you think oh, it? You can't have your thing creepy. creepy. Right, well we thought creepy <laughs> and it took us to a strange location. We can't get right in to locate the pin. Uh, but it's took us to an army barracks. Is it a TA? A territorial army barracks? Yes. But it's all secured and obviously we can't get in. Uh, although... I would love to be able to get in just to get to the pin. It's a bit kind of strange why it's took us here, out of all the places, but I wouldn't say it's creepy, unless it starts shooting at us. <laughs> that wouldn't be creepy, that would be, be scary. scary. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the 221 Squadron of Scottish Transport. Hmm. So Michael, how do you like your random knotting experience? Shite. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not creeped out yet? No. Nope. No. Oh. Right, I think we'll call it at that. <laughs> so Randall Norton in the night is not very creepy. Uh, job done. Say bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs>